this is the beginning of part 3 of the video on how to install DNN on Amazon EC2. Okay, so now Codeplex is loaded on Dr. Took project directly. I'm just going to go to the downloads area. And I'm going to download the new install of DNN 620. Let's download that. It's asking for confirmation. I'm going to save this. It should download quite quickly. Okay, I'll just click on open and it will open Windows Explorer. I'm going to go to downloads. And here is the installation of DNN 6.2. Next thing that we have to do is we have to extract the files from this folder, from this uh, zip, zip file. I'm just going to go to properties and I'm going to unblock this to make things a little bit faster. I'm just going to right click and extract. I'm going to extract to the same location. It's doing it now. Okay, so the files are extracted. I'm just going to copy all those files and folders. And I'm going to go to the server local C drive and go to inetpub www root. This is the root of your of the site running on the server. I'm just going to copy over those files. Actually, let me delete what it's there right now. I'm going to paste the DNN installation. The files are copied. Now we have to work on the security of this folder, of www root folder. We have to allow to give full access to two users. Let's right click there, go to properties, go to security. The first user that we're going to give access, full access, is the Amazon user, IIS user, this one. I'm just going to hit edit, click on that user, give full control, hit apply. Now I'm going to go back again to the properties and this time I'm going to add this user. We actually, you have to type in this name and I'm going to post that in the video post, but you have to type in, you will not be able to find it. So once you type in the IS app pool, you're going to check names and it has detected and you just hit OK, hit OK and then give full control to this user as well. Okay, it's giving access, it's applying everything, click OK again. Now security is done. The next step will be to configure the database as well. So just to get things out of our way, let's close some of those windows. Let's minimize this. And let's go to start all programs, SQL Server 2008. R2 and click SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so here it is. Uh, we can just hit connect, but before that, I recommend that you copy the server name because we will need that a little bit down the road. So let's just copy that. Now we can just, we can just hit connect. And we're going to do two things here. We're going to create the database and we're going to set up uh, the, the password for the SA user. So first of all, let's create our database, expand the database tree view. Actually, just hit right click, new database. We will call this DNN62. And we're going to hit OK. OK, so the database was created. Now, let's set up under security. Let's go to logins and let's set up the password for the SA account. You can create your own user, but I'm just going to, for simplicity, I'm just going to use the SA account. I'm going to go and right click and go to properties. Two things that we're going to do here, actually three things. We're going to uncheck enforce password policy. We're going to set up a password. I'm going to type in again. And the next thing is under status, we're going to check 
login enabled under login. So password is set, login is set, let's click OK. So the password of SA user was set, the database was created, that's all that we need to do on SQL Server. If you want to give it a try, you can just close SQL Server Management Studio, try to open it again, and let's use this time the SA account. Well, actually I forgot one step. Let's connect here again. You also have to right click on this server name and go to properties and under security, check SQL and Windows authentication mode. Let's select this one as well. This step I had forgotten. Let's click OK. Some configuration will uh, require SQL Server to restart. That's fine. So let's click OK. Let's close SQL Management Studio. Now we have to, yeah, that's an extra step that I was not counting too much, but to make sure that that change what it took effect, let's go to Administrative Tools, Services, and let's just restart the SQL Server service. Just make sure that it took effect. Let's just scroll down to the SQL ser Server Services. Here's the one. I need to right click, hit stop, and I'm gonna start it again now. Just make sure that that change took effect. Perfect, this is done. Let's close this, and let's go back to SQL Server Management Studio just to give it a try on our SA account. Under authentication, select SQL Server authentication. Let's put the SA user and the password. And let's uh, hit connect. We should be able to connect. Perfect, we are connecting. So we have IIS set up. We have in security permission on the folder as well. We have SQL Server set up. Now we need to run the website to get to trigger the DNA installation process. To do that, we just need to go to the website, which we have it open here. Again, it's the same URL. We just have to refresh this and we should have the, the DNN installation process is starting right now. So it's taking a little bit of time. This is the end of part three of the video on how to install DNN on Amazon EC2.